it was lovely last night. Uh, I came quite late, but uh, it was enough to, to not to miss the promotion. And people were lovely. I, I felt especially touched because my grandparents are from, my paternal grandparents uh, are from Macedonia. I was touched to meet all the people and uh, to sign so many books. It was a great event last night. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it was lovely. Th thank you for that too. For, for the champagne and the award. Thank you. It is, it's always great to meet with uh, readers. Uh, I, I, when I see the readers, I, I get energy from them. I, I wasn't able to sleep last night till uh, four, 4 in the morning. <laughs> So it is quite touching for me to, to see the readers, how they enjoy the book, uh, how, the, how the novels touch their lives, how, how they get an impression of Istanbul and my uh, heroine Kati Hirschel. It's, uh, it's very nice to, nice to see people and talk with them. Uh, I authorize the German translations. Uh, I, I work very closely with my translator uh, in German because, because I, I speak the language quite good. Uh, so uh, some languages like it, it, the Italians translate from German uh, because the German translation is, is, is very good. It's, it's the best translation after the, the original language, of course. Uh, the French translation, the first book was not very successful. It was not a good translation. I don't know the language, but uh, readers told me that it wasn't it wasn't a good one. So they changed the translator in the second novel, and now it's it, it is going better. It depends on the language. I think during the translation process, uh, every book loses uh, some parts of it. Uh, some jokes get lost. Uh, but it wins uh, also uh, on some uh, other instances. Uh, so I, I think novels can be translated. It's uh, different than po poetry. It's, they say it's almost impossible to translate poetry. But it's possible to translate uh, novels and transport the feelings uh, of, of a novel. I don't know if I can say European, if I can call a European li literature, is, is it uh, different than the American literature or the Russian literature? I, I, I don't know this. I think we're, we're, we belong, we all belong to a one world and it's, it's the same world we are, we are writing about. It's the same people. Wherever you go, the, the, the human, human beings are, are the same. Uh, so I think it's about the period we are, we are living in, it's the 21st century, the beginning of 21st century and we are writing about different types of people. Wherever you go it's the same people but politics change and how the, the effect, uh, how the politics affect our lives change but on the basis it's, it's the same thing. I think women's writing is 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 getting uh, more and more present uh, in the world. Women write more. Uh, when I go into a bookstore, uh, I see more women writers than men mostly. But men are more more successful. The the, the biggest writers in the world are, are are still men. That that's a pity, of course. But we are working very hard to catch them. Although we, we carry three, three million years on our sh shoulders as women, we, we, still, we still unfortunately. I sometimes feel all this uh, history on my, on my sh shoulders. I miss Kati Hirschel a lot. I'm, I'm working on a novel now uh, without Kati Hirschel, without, uh, with, with a male uh, hero. Uh, but I miss Kati Hirschel. When I walk on the streets in Istanbul, I sometimes think, think oh, Kati Hirschel should have seen this. <laughs> I see something on the street and I, I shouldn't forget this. I should, Kati Hirschel should make a comment on this situation. So I, I live with her in a way, uh, to, together. She, she's always in my heart in Istanbul when I uh, stroll through the streets of Istanbul.
I'm planning a, a fifth book, definitely. Yeah, but I don't know, maybe in this fifth book she's going to leave Istanbul because it's it's not a place to, to be, to be uh, it's, not a, it's not a safe place anymore to live in. Istanbul has uh, changed a lot in, in, in the uh, 15 years I've been writing uh, Kati Hirschel novels. I, I think I felt I, I feel Macedonia is, is home in a way. I, I, I have this feeling of uh, Heimat uh, in Macedonia. Heimat, yes. In Berlin too, in Istanbul too, in Izmir too. It's very strange because I think I have roots in everywhere. But ba Balkan is, is for me very special. I think it, it's, it's a great chance for a writer to have such a mixed uh, mixed uh, background uh, to be to be of such a mixed background uh, and I, I feel very lucky because I, I can't be a nationalist for example I can't be a racist because I have all this in my background so I, I think this is this this is quite a richness for, for a writer a, a very uh, lucky uh, perspective for a writer and but after after uh, this is all I don't I I brought this with me, but also I made uh, myself uh, an immigrant. I went to Germany, I went to London, I lived in London too. So it's, it, it's, all, it's all making uh, one uh, richer. So it, it, does, it, it has an effect on the, on the books I write, I hope. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to Skopje. It's 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 a great pleasure. Thank you. I hope you have enough pictures to to give me because I I just checked last night. I don't have enough pictures. <laughs> yeah.